So this is what our deck looks like after a long winter and spring. To be fair, this is technically our second year having to clean the space, but the first after purchasing outdoor furniture. And let me tell you, the pollen and the rain definitely did some damage. So in this video, we're going to use a power washer for the first time to transform the space from green and grimy to serene and peaceful in just one day. I had to watch so many videos about power washers, but here's a summary of what I learned. So the power washer that we chose was the Ryobi 2000 PSI. Um, I learned that 2000 PSI is enough to clean the deck, outdoor furniture, siding, even a vehicle. In the top, you'll find the soap dispenser. We use the set brand specifically for pressure washer. You can only use the pressure washer detergent as clearly marked in the unit. In the front, you will connect your garden hose extension that comes with the unit, while in the back, you will connect your own garden hose. Three different nozzles are included, uh, one for soap, one with the 15 degree spraying pattern, and the black one is the turbo one. We purchased this five in one nozzle separately. It comes with five different spraying patterns and we found it easier to change from one degree to the other. And the lower the degree, the narrower and the more powerful the pressure. So depending on what we were cleaning, we changed between the 15 degree and the 40 degree. So we figure since we're going to clean this every year, might as well invest in a pressure washer. But I also thought, what can I do this season to avoid this mess from happening? The truth is that this outdoor conversation set was a pain to keep covered and dry the whole winter season. But uh, these Acapulco chairs work out great because um, they didn't have any cushions and the water didn't accumulate in them. So I'll tell you later what I'm planning to do to make this a low maintenance all year round outdoor space but now we have a lot of work to do in just one day it is so bad this is looking good still um, all of the cushions this was the first time for my husband and I using a power washer so we had to be very careful when choosing the degree because depending on what you're cleaning the pressure could actually damage the furniture so our teak furniture was actually not in such a bad condition so we were careful and we used a 15 degree and 40 degree to clean it without stripping the coating or damaging the wood However, the cushions were very stained, so I sprayed them with a mixture of bleach and dish detergent to make it easier to clean. It's a rainbow! <laughs> Good job, baby. <laughs> Get it in there. It's coming out easier with bleach. Our outdoor rug is one of my favorite purchases for the space, not only because of a beautiful pattern, I love a diamond pattern, but also because it makes the space feel cozier. And I left it out all year and it has all held up pretty well. I mean, it looks brand new once I cleaned it with the power washer, you'll see the results. I also had a lot of fun going through each diamond. <laughs> Uh, I think it was really satisfying, um, as you can see, but it's also hard work to power wash a space. That's why I thank God my husband helped me. Uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing the, the diamond here. <laughs> that looks really good. Good job, baby. Do you want me to flip this over, baby? Yeah. Oh 
yeah. Let's right through it. So good. So much better. My husband did a great job. Great job. Thank you. <laughs> great teamwork. <laughs> and uh, this is all clean. I may have to put some teak oil on it, but um, yeah, all we have to do is put it back. So, thank you so much for being so patient with me. <laughs> thank you for being patient with me. Little Elton John, <laughs> little clean in the deck. <laughs> Our, our power he was washer. very patient with me because I was telling him what to do. But it's because I know what to do. That's every time. <laughs> <laughs> You're usually right. <laughs>It was so satisfying to see all of the mildew and green come off our siding, our deck, and all of our outdoor furniture. And I must say, this is definitely a two-person job. I'm thankful that we tackled this together. And although my husband did most of the job, I researched everything. We're a great team. <laughs> and I would love to show you the final review. If you made it this far into the video thank you so much for watching uh, give this video a thumbs up but also consider subscribing to my channel because i actually decided to sell this conversation set on facebook marketplace and replace it for something else so yeah i know it turned out beautiful it looks like it's brand new again but i just felt like this space needed something different let me know in the comments what you think and thank you so much for watching